Hello friends, today we are going to deploy Creator Invoice on localhost, skipping installation steps. Let's begin. First of all, open Creator App Downloads page and download the latest release file. It is zip file so we need to extract it on the other hand create a database I'm creating with creator name now open source code in any editor so I'm opening it in Visual Studio Code editor. If you are on Mac OS or Linux machine, you have to give proper permissions to your root directory. Here is the command. But I am not going to use it because currently I am on window machine. Okay. Now we have to update few files. First of all, we have to go to app directory. Under app there is a space directory, under space there is a file environmentmanager.php. Open that file and find database should be empty line. We have to comment this if condition. So currently it is line number 90 to 94. Now save this file and open storage under storage open app directory and inside app create one new file database underscore created put any character in this file and save it. Now open .env environment file in order to update few config variables. First of all we need to update app underscore url 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. We have to update db underscore host as localhost db underscore database as creator db underscore username whatever username you want to give and db underscore password scroll down and update two more attributes one is sanctum stateful domain it is same as app underscore url but without http and in session domain put your ip without port it is very important save this file now open your terminal and run command php artisan migrate in order to create tables in rdb please also run command php artisan db colon seed in order to seed database or insert entries in tables run it do you really wish to run yes
PS again. Okay, now we have to seed demo seeder as well. DB colon seed class is equal to demo seeder. D and S is capital here. Yes, that's it. Now you can serve your application. Open this URL in browser it will show login screen without installation steps here are the email and password EA. you are logged in let's try to update one setting okay I will update name here click on save yes it's updated thanks